Could Africa's natural riches spark a shift to renewable energy? Burkina Faso's new hydroelectric power station is a big step in that direction. This project promises to boost the economy and improve living standards by providing safer and cleaner energy. But what challenges might arise during this shift, and what does this achievement mean right now? Before we dive in, please subscribe to the African Web channel and ring the bell icon. The recent completion of the hydroelectric power station is a major achievement for Burkina Faso. This project will change the country's energy scene by providing reliable and eco-friendly power, boosting the economy and improving lives. The goal is to use Burkina Faso's water resources to create clean electricity and reduce reliance on fossil fuels. Experts first study possible locations, water flow and environmental impacts. Plan involved cooperation between local and international experts, government bodies and private companies. Detailed designs were made and environmental studies ensured the project wouldn't harm local ecosystems, with measures in place to handle any risks. Construction had several stages. First, building the dam involved a lot of digging and earth moving, using advanced techniques to ensure stability. Next, the power station was built, including turbines, generators and transformers to turn water energy into electricity. This required great precision and teamwork around the clock. Control systems and monitoring devices were installed for efficient and safe operation. Stakeholder involvement was key. Regular meetings with government officials, local leaders, and environmental groups built trust and support. International partners provided technical expertise and financial backing through grants and low-interest loans, recognizing the project's potential to boost regional stability and economic growth. Next, the inspection phase was crucial for ensuring the hydroelectric power station's safety and efficiency. Independent experts thoroughly checked all parts of the plant. Engineers inspected the dam and power station for weaknesses, using special tests to examine concrete and steel. Turbines, generators, and transformers were tested under different conditions to measure performance. Control systems were also tested for efficient power management, and safety features like emergency shutdowns and flood management were checked. Environmental experts assessed the impact on local water quality, aquatic life, and downstream effects. The final inspection, which took place last Friday, was a detailed review to ensure readiness for operation. The team, including government officials, independent engineers, and international partners, conducted a comprehensive review. They examined procedures, safety protocols, and maintenance routines, and performed live tests to simulate real-life scenarios. After analyzing the data, the team confirmed that the SIM hydroelectric power station met all safety and regulatory standards, allowing it to start operations. This marks the beginning of a new era for Burkina Faso's energy sector. Technically, the hydroelectric power station uses the Sim River's flow to produce electricity efficiently and sustainably. With an annual capacity of 18 gigawatts, it meets Burkina Faso's energy needs and supports growing infrastructure. The plant operates reliably year-round, using advanced Kaplan turbines to convert water energy into mechanical energy. These turbines handle varying water flows and are ideal for the Sim River. The generators produce high-voltage electricity, which is boosted by transformers for long-distance transmission to minimize energy loss. Sophisticated systems manage electricity flow, ensuring safety and reliability. The control room's modern SCADA systems allow remote and efficient plant management, with automated controls adjusting turbine and generator performance in real time. The dam for the hydroelectric plant is 85 meters tall and 1.5 kilometers long. It has multiple spillways to control extra water and prevent flooding. The dam creates a huge reservoir that can hold 1.05 billion cubic meters of water, ensuring a steady supply to the turbines even during dry times. The funding for this hydroelectric power station was carefully planned and came from various sources. The total cost is $7 billion, with an extra $425 million for other expenses. This large investment shows the project's importance and advanced technology. The money came from government grants, international loans, and private investments. Private investors were interested because of the project's long-term profitability and the high demand for clean energy in West Africa. The funding strategy mixed debt and equity financing, spreading financial risks and attracting different investors. Long-term loans were obtained at good interest rates, 
due to the project's strong financial outlook and support from international lenders. Private firms with renewable energy expertise made equity investments, providing both financial and technical support. How will this project impact Burkina Faso? The hydroelectric power station has significant economic benefits. During construction, it created thousands of jobs for local residents. The operational phase will continue to create jobs in plant maintenance, management, and local supply chains. The steady electricity supply is expected to boost local industries, attract new businesses, and support regional economic growth. Hydroelectric power is cost-effective and sustainable. After the initial construction costs, ongoing expenses are low, mainly for maintenance and management. The power station will generate significant revenue from electricity sales, providing a good return on investment for stakeholders. Environmentally, the project will reduce greenhouse gas emissions and improve sustainable water management, adding to its long-term value. The successful launch of the hydroelectric power station sets the stage for more renewable energy projects in Burkina Faso. This project serves as a model, showing the benefits of large-scale hydroelectric power. There are plans to increase the capacity of the SIM hydroelectric power station by adding more turbines and generators to boost output. Additional reservoirs and dams are also planned to ensure a steady water supply for power generation even during dry periods. This aligns with regional efforts to create a more connected power grid. The government of Burkina Faso was crucial in kickstarting the project, providing the first funds and getting support from international development agencies. These agencies recognized the project's potential to boost sustainable development and energy security in the region. The SIM hydroelectric power station will be key in ensuring a steady electricity supply for the region. Efforts are underway to connect the station to regional power grids, allowing Burkina Faso to export extra electricity to neighboring countries and promote regional cooperation. To keep the power station running efficiently and sustainably, ongoing research and development are essential. This will focus on making turbines work better, improving control systems, and minimizing environmental impact. The project also offers a great chance for local universities and research centers to collaborate with international partners, driving innovation and sharing knowledge in renewable energy. The project also aims to benefit local communities directly. It includes programs for community development, education, and support for local businesses. Reliable electricity will greatly improve people's lives, offering better education, healthcare, and economic opportunities. Environmental sustainability is a key goal, with ongoing efforts to ensure the power station works well with the local ecosystem, protecting wildlife and managing water resources responsibly. Regular environmental checks will help address any issues and minimize negative effects. This hydroelectric power station is a game-changer for Burkina Faso and Africa, bringing sustainable energy and economic growth to the region. It highlights the continent's commitment to renewable energy and showcases the potential for similar projects elsewhere. As Africa continues to innovate and invest in clean energy, it sets a powerful example for global climate action. This project not only enhances local development, but also strengthens regional cooperation and stability. What other regions in Africa could benefit from similar renewable energy projects? How can local communities better leverage these developments? What role do you think international partnerships play in advancing renewable energy? Like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to the African Web channel and ring the bell icon to be the first to see more updates.